Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moshix mainframe channel. This is Moshix. We're doing a series on uh, how to write hello world programs, uh, the simplest programs possible in many of the mainframes uh, languages that are supported uh, on the IBM mainframe. And uh, we did COBOL, we did REX. Today we're going to look at PL1, the mystical PL1. Um, a lot of people have, have heard a little bit about it. Very few people have been in touch with it. But I do love the language. It, in my opinion, it's one of the best programming languages out there. I just simply love it. it it's very sophisticated, has a lot of concepts that uh, still other languages like C and, and other languages still don't have today. And uh, PL1 was created by IBM itself, so that's why you you find it on the IBM mainframe. Um, and but other people have uh, other companies have ported PL1, such as. Uh, digital equipment ported it to OpenVMS and uh, they even existed a version for CPM uh, by the same person who wrote the CPM operating system, uh, Mr. Kildall and, um, and also there is a version on Windows and there is a version for Linux. There are ports of uh, PL1 for um, uh, even open source for uh, for Linux and for Windows and other platforms. It's a fantastic programming language. The first compiler came out in the um, in the mid 60s uh, the whole compiler uh, could fit into 64 kilobytes of memory but it also produced a version which could fit into 16 kilobytes of memory amazing anyway so uh, today we're going to look at how to write a, a simple program that says hello world in pl1 as you know for everything that's on the mainframe you need job control language which is the kind of a scripting language for the mainframe that controls the execution of programs and you that's the way you that's the only way really you can submit uh, batch programs to the mainframe is through JCL. We're going to do this, of course, interactively. We write this program interactively here, but it's going to be executed in batch. So I have here, I prepared a little, I thought I did. Ah, oh, here it is. Uh, this is the very minimum job control language needed to um, compile, link, and execute a PL1, compile, uh, PL1 program on ZOS. Um, there's other ways to do it on other operating systems on the mainframe such as on CVM, but this is for ZOS. So let's look what happens here. This is what we call the job card. It tells that this is the user that's running it and this is an arbitrary selection so that I can keep them apart when I look at the output. So I can put in here A. Uh, we call this a hello message class H. So it's not going to go to the printer. It's going to be held in the output queues of the, of the mainframe too, so we can look at it la later. I put in a restriction of, I'd say, 100 megabytes here. Um, all JCL needs to be uppercase, by the way, execution class A, so it will be executed immediately. And I want to be notified uh, what happens with this job. Then we execute the, the compiler, um, and those are the options for the compiler, such as uh, we wanted the source code to be listed in the output, we want the nesting level. Uh, you could also do, uh, I think, list is missing here. And then we want it to optimize for uh, execution time and not for execution size, for ex executable size. Then is the sys print and sys dump just in case the program uh, goes wrong, but we can remove this. So this is the very bare minimum uh, job control language to execute the compiler and then to link it and to run the program. Um, so now here between these two lines, this is where we write our source code. So let's go to it. Um, all JC, all PL1 needs to start in the second column. Now, column of one is reserved for other purposes. And so we say, hello, uh, proc, or we can say procedure, options, main. So that's the beginning of every program. And then we can say here, end, hello. Okay, so now we have the beginning and the end. And now, oops, say here, uh, put list hello world. And that's about it. Um, then we need to put in here a special marker to the operating system that this is the last card. Remember, in JCL, you're really mapping punch cards. <laughs> Uh, in, even in today's world, every single one of those, that's why it's 80 bytes, because punch cards were 80 bytes. IBM did briefly try to come out with punch cards that were longer than 80, but it was not a very successful attempt. But anyway, so this is it. We can now try to run this by doing submit. Let's see what comes out. We are job 1674 on this mainframe. 
Uh, okay, uh, 1674 is still executing, I think. Yeah, uh, the mainframe is a little busy today. But um, let's go to H, we should see it here. Mm. Oh, here it is. So job 1674 just finished. So let's go select it with an S and then we see here how long this all took. Um, this is running under several layers of virtualization, so that's why it's a little slow. Um, but here's the program. So here's the compiler, as you can see, announcing itself. Enterprise PL1 for ZOS version 4.2 for ZOS 1.13. Uh, that's where you usually find it. Um, it repeats all the parameters we mentioned before. You see here, the same parameters. So we cut those. And then um, here is the program itself, very, very short. I think this is actually the shortest PL1 program I've ever written, uh, ever myself. So, And I've been doing PL1 programming, I think, since 1982. So uh, 37 years. Um, and uh, so, and then here we have the assembler that it generates, right? Kind of like with GCC compiler, you can also with the minus S switch, you can tell it to write the assembler output. And let's go to the bottom, and here it is, hello world. So we wrote our first successful program in PO1, and uh, that's how simple it is, three lines. It's actually a little simpler even than Rex or even than, uh, than COBOL, uh, but that's the elegance of PO1. Now from here, the sky is the limit. It's a very, very um, uh, extensive language with many many features one of the things i like about p1 is is the conditions catching so you can say on divide by zero instead of crashing call this routine and so you can print something and tell the user hey there's a divide by zero at this and this location we can do on file and do this and this so you can write conditions and when those conditions happen uh, asynchronously you get you can tell it where to go into the program so amazing things you can do with that and uh, and so that's it it's really very very simple um, i will post this whole uh, job control language with the program in the description below this video i do ask you to go and uh, sign the petition to ask ibm to release to the community ibm um, mvs x8 31 bit operating system and vmxa together with the pl1 and cobol 31 bit compilers so we can go on and do amazing things in the community and for new people such as yourselves the people watching this video right now to learn uh, new things on the mainframe that's it if you have any comments uh, please post them below this video um, if you if, tell me what you like about pl1 tell me which language you like which one you hate um, and tell me generally what you think about the mainframe and why you're interested in the mainframe. Always, uh, it's always great to uh, read your comments and it's one of the things actually that motivates me to see all the various comments. Very smart people come and post comments uh, below my videos. That's, uh, that's something that really honors me. Anyway, thank you very much and uh, please do subscribe to the Motion Mainframe channel and do come back soon. Thank you. Goodbye.